What's up, Internet? It's Nathan Hamilton, and today we're talking about the three best Bitcoin wallets. Guys, this is an exciting one today. You've seen the headlines. You've probably even heard people talking about cryptocurrencies on your morning commute. Do you even own Bitcoin, bro? Yeah, bro. Bitcoin is so sick, bro. Yeah, bro. So sick. I'm all about that Dogecoin too. So sick. Yeah, so sick, bro. Cryptocurrencies are everywhere. You know, should you buy it? Should you sell it? Is Bitcoin going to hit $50,000? Well, I can't help you decipher any of those questions. And really, that's not what you're here for today. This video is all about helping you find the best Bitcoin wallet. And I'll leave the predictions up to the talking heads on TV and the comment section trolls. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Super Z247. But before we get to my three hands down best Bitcoin wallets, best cryptocurrency wallets, I'm going to take you through a brief buyer's guide. These are the essentials that you'll want to ask yourself before choosing which wallet is best for you. And it's also the lens through which we're going to review the three picks on my list. So here are the three questions to ask yourself. Number one on the list, what coins are you interested in? See, the three picks on my shortlist all have integrations to work with Bitcoin, Ethereum, and many of the other major altcoins on the market. But not all cryptocurrency wallets work with all cryptocurrencies. You'll need to determine, of course, which cryptocurrencies you'll be buying and selling. Most likely that's Bitcoin since it is very popular, and that will help you chip away at the long list of options available in the market. Number two, do you want a hardware wallet or a software wallet? And this is actually more a question of how much security do you require because hard wallets offer the most complex and robust security of any type of Bitcoin wallet. That's because the physical hardware device actually must be connected to a computer or a smartphone to execute a transaction. The downside, of course, is hardware wallets offer less flexibility compared to software wallets, such as online services offered through the Coinbase exchange, which is one software wallet that is available. These deeper integrations of being able to buy and sell the currency and also make transactions using the wallet online do make software wallets more useful in more scenarios. Number three, what is your budget? See, you'll have to shell out some dough, upwards of $100 in some cases, to get the most robust security that's offered with hardware wallets on the market. When it comes to software wallets, on the other hand, those are mostly free. So as you look at it, what coins are you interested in? Do you want the security of a hardware wallet or are okay with a software wallet? And also, what's your budget? Taking a moment to understand these three factors will get you 99% of the way to finding the best Bitcoin wallet for you. So keeping with the theme of threes, let's now take a look at the three best Bitcoin wallets. So you'll find links to each of these description section below, plus also my pick of the best Bitcoin exchange, where you can actually get $10 of free Bitcoin through the referral link. Okay. Here we go. Number one is the Nano Ledger S. This Bitcoin wallet is best for people wanting the security of a hardware wallet, but you're also on a budget. See, you can find the Nano Ledger S for less than about a hundred bucks online and simply connect the device via USB to execute your various transactions. And it's a versatile option that has a deep bench of integration with popular coins. And that's gonna be the Bitcoins, Ethereum, Litecoin, and other altcoins as well. So running down the features, the Nano Ledger S includes two-factor authentication. As I mentioned before, works with Bitcoin, Ethereum, many of the other altcoins out there. And it also has both an iOS and an Android app, in addition to an online interface that you can use to execute transactions. So unlike another pick on this list that you soon learn about, the Nano Ledger S does not also act as a password manager which is one secondary feature that some Bitcoin wallet users do find valuable. Now, I don't think this is a make or break feature since Safari and Chrome browsers today have pretty robust password management tools built in. But where the Nano Ledger S also falls short is that it doesn't offer passphrase support. Number two on the short list is the Trezor wallet. This Bitcoin wallet is best for people wanting the most robust security offered in the hardware wallet category. Of course, you'll be required to pay a premium for that extra security, 
but it'll still cost less than the Louis Vuitton wallet your girl bought, which doesn't even have a computer built in. Boring! Again, it's best to review some features to understand how the Trezor wallet differs from the competition. Like the Nano S, it includes the essentials like two-factor authentication and capabilities to carry Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin. You know, these are throwaways. Pretty much everything should include it. Where it does differ is that it doesn't offer an iOS app, just an Android app at this moment. The wallet also has some password management capabilities for common sites you visit, like I alluded to in, in the previous section talking about the Nano S, which doesn't offer those capabilities. Razor offers an additional level of security with passphrase support. With passphrase support, you'll be required to set up what's called a recovery seed, which is 24 words essentially generated by the device. And you'll keep a record of this seed in non-digital form. Now, passphrase support is essentially the 25th seed word, but the one thing to know is this feature just makes your coins more secure. And that explains why the Trezor wallet gets the highest security rating of my three picks. Lastly, the number three pick is the Coinbase digital wallet. Coinbase is the largest cryptocurrency exchange out there and actually has raised over $100 million in venture funding to date. In addition to being able to invest in cryptos, Coinbase also offers an online free software wallet. You'll get the essentials, which are two-factor authentication and access to every popular cryptocurrency on the market ones you recognize and names you also don't know at this point since they're popping up quite frequently. And there's also an iOS app and an Android app in addition to the online interface, which is pretty user friendly, most simple to use of the software wallets out there on the market and also exchanges. There is no secondary password management tool or passphrase support capabilities like you get with the Trezor or hardware wallet, which explains why the security rating of holding your coins with Coinbase can best be characterized as good. No doubt Coinbase has the most secure software Bitcoin wallet, but the reality is even the most robust software wallet can't compete with hardware wallets. In comparing all three of these Bitcoin wallets side by side, a few things are clear. If you require a hardware wallet with an iOS app, the Ledger Nano S is the best pick. People who want the highest level of security, on the other hand, should buy the Trezor wallet based on the additional passphrase support. And if you want a reputable free Bitcoin wallet that offers the most flexibility, then Coinbase's digital wallet is going to be your best bet. So there you have it guys and girls, those are my three picks and as I mentioned before, there are links down in the description section where you can buy the hardware wallets on Amazon and also a link to Coinbase where you can sign up and get 10 free dollars of Bitcoin through the referral link. So hope you guys like this video, see you in the next one.